Happy Halloween, Burning Dog fans, and welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. In case you skipped the Goat Simulator video, the short version is that I made a bunch of videos and then discovered that most of the footage was uh, corrupted. So uh, I've loaded an earlier save, and uh, that means that the next few videos I will have seen what's happened, but you know, it is what it is. So, uh, I'm just gonna... I have loaded an earlier save, I'm just gonna catch up with where I was at the end of video 9 real quick. Let's do this rapid fire. Got you this time. Ha! Hmm, they really do disappear. I forgot to do that uh, after I loaded at some point. Dang. Okay, check it out. Uh, there's the barn, there's the rotting goat, and there's the uh, chain I have to chainsaw through. And there is a statue I missed. Neat. Rad. Okay, so the torch didn't really work out, but Vincer's prodigy wanted to know what happens if I, uh, lob a couple of these in there before I trigger that guy's encounter. Oh, it just triggers his encounter, that's what. Ah! I blew my legs off. Bob Dole didn't need this. Well, shit. Ah, oh, hell. No, oh, good thing I saved before that. Still probably good for getting a hit in early. Okay, that did it. So bad. I better hold on to this. Wonder if I can pick up that trap I set. Oh, jeez. Yes, I can. Okay. <sighs> this is so fucking weird. Uh. I accidentally pulled a po total dad maneuver and, uh, did the stop recording when I meant to start recording thing. Uh, fortunately, the only things I missed that I'd, uh, saved after were, uh, giving myself a bunch of upgrades and, uh, opening a bunch of, uh, doors. Yeah, we got some shotgun ammo left over, some harpoons left over. Uh, this one had two keys inside of it, which seemed redundant, because when I opened it, it just looked like there was one key inside of it, so I was like, oh. Oh, okay. That was a weird profit. Um, really sorry I missed that one. Uh, kind of kicking myself. You know, it's not like I'm not dealing with any other problems at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's just take a look through this. Oh, 
I'm so pissed that I was just talking to myself for several minutes instead of actually recording. I gave myself another life upgrade. Uh, I improved my sprint time and the amount of uh, recovery I get from syringes. I improve. I gave myself a chance to uh, instantly kill any enemy with a headshot. I got some of that the first time around, and it's really satisfying to see their heads just blow apart at the first shot instead of, you know, you only have two bullets left, you put both of them into a guy's head, and then he continues trying to murder you. Uh, I improved the damage on the shotgun. Uh, I can carry still more matches. Uh, I don't think I improved anything over here. But, uh, yeah, that about sums it up. Man, I got like 10,000 juice from those, uh, drawers back there. <clears throat> it's a nicely longer sprint bar. Oh, and I discovered that, uh, if you're damaged, when you get a life upgrade, it fully heals you, so that's nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, the layout of the town was different in my mind. And by the way, yes, I did get the uh, flash bolt at the top there. I just forgot to record myself getting it. The teeth of this old, well-worn chainsaw are caked with all sorts of things. Lovely. Chainsaw! Now, sadly, this isn't a melee weapon. Uh, don't waste a precious minute and impress yourself today, says my lozenge drabber. I can't remember if it was when I got the chainsaw or when I killed the guy, but there's an achievement called, uh... Yeah, weapon of Choice. Defeat the Sadist within the village. And I've scoured this place, so I'm going to resist my natural urge to do it again. So let's just get the fuck out of here, shall we? Let's not keep that chainsaw or anything. Uh, oh. After all, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Wait! Over here! Wait, uh, officer. Uh, you must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. Chapter 4, The Patient. See, these guys here, this worries me, because I have yet to see any enemies that actually look like that. I don't like this loading screen at all. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. He says just ahead, but it's literally this building. I don't need to save, because I just did that. You know, so I said something during the segment I was inadvertently not recording that uh, turned out to be true. I saved the game after I did all the upgrades and stuff, because... That's right, I turned around and went right back into the mirror in order to save, because it would take longer for me to, you know, open the drawers and get the upgrades and such than it uh, would to just do a U-turn and save the game. I 
guess we get more time in the video then. Man! What could have happened here? The same thing that happened in the other village, I guess. People turned into lunatics for no obvious reason, and barbed wire comes out of the ground. Weirdest apocalypse ever, man. Unpleasant. Although we'll mention that that's a... Uh, It's war, you guys. Uh, Liam O'Brien. The good doctor is here. Ah, shush. Don't you fret. Doc, no, don't. Valerio, it's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother, Valerio. Leslie's original doctor. Expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Marcello, close your eyes. Oh, Jesus. I was not expecting that to kick into the first one. Well, that was extremely unpleasant. How could he have done that to Valerio? Impossible. Why'd you get your lantern out, Couldn't dude? Be Ruby. So it's yeah. I want to know who he is. Is that the Ruvik you're talking about? So, it's not all of the footage was fucked up, as you saw in the Goat Simulator video. Some of it came out okay. I mean, I wouldn't subject you guys to the mess that came out, just to, you know, keep the good stuff. But I did save a few clips. This is one of them. Excuse me, Doctor. Oh, yes. You see where this is going. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what happened the first time that uh, I did this. Uh, these controls don't seem to line up at all with up, down, left, and right. Uh, okay. Left, down... I guess they were... Here? Uh, nothing's happening when I push the buttons. Okay, we have to look at that chart again. Maybe we have to line it up right before it gets, uh, proper. Okay, up in the middle of the torso, on slightly on the right-hand side. Here. Right? No. Oh, okay. He's full of bees! Which I wouldn't assume wouldn't be surprised at this point. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, well enough. Well done. But what about the other two? 
You know, you, you can have them. Fuck it. So yeah, I'm really glad that uh, I was able to keep a jump scare that really genuinely got me. <laughs> I hope I didn't get, uh, tip my hand too much and uh, let you guys see it coming. Uh, hmm, his brother's body is gone. Fair enough. That was a messed up thing enough to experience. I would not be happy if uh, my brother turned into a monster and I had to watch a guy blow his head off. We must be going. I was saying, you know, oh, it's the apocalypse earlier, but that really got me thinking. Is this just happened everywhere? Is the whole fucking world like. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Is the whole world like this? Six matches. Good, good. I don't think I deal very well with, uh. The apocalypse. I'm a writer, for God's sakes. What am I going to do? I mean, I know Alan Wake prevented the apocalypse at one time, but, uh... I should do a straw poll. Would you inject yourself with green shit you found lying around if you had been injured? It's a darker green than this stuff, too. That's good. I really use more handgun ammo. I find it interesting that the, the shotgun also starts out with a 0% chance to instantly kill enemies at a headshot. What? Uh, yeah, you do that, Doc. Nice shooting. Thank you. What? Oh, I dropped the axe by mistake. I thought I had my gun still out. Oh, that was the guy, uh, from the horrible, horrible clip I shared on, uh, the goat video. Yeah, blew his brains all over this wall the first time around. I forgot there was even anyone in here. That came from outside. Yeah. Yes. This is where the video ended the first time. So, what happened the first time is that, uh, I follow, I went to where Leslie was and that triggered a, uh, transition to the next area. The next chapter, I should say. Is that where this went in? Yes. Okay. Sorry, just checking my timer. I'm uh going to call it there then. Yeah, I see the skids hanging around. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within, when we, uh, continue looking for Leslie. But first, we need to scour this place for goods and services. Inconceivable. This couldn't have happened. Later.